Welcome to the Purdue College of Pharmacy. My name is Story Pedley, and I'm an academic advisor in the Office of Student Services. We're excited to share Purdue Pharmacy with you, and as you take your next giant leap, let the Purdue Pharmacy family join you. But don't just take it from me, let's hear from our students. Um, Purdue Pharmacy absolutely feels like a family. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, the Office of Student Services, my advisor has been incredibly helpful uh, and just guiding me along. Um, so I've definitely felt like the family unit, whether that just be from like my friends who I've met like through classes, like especially being an out-of-state student coming into this program not knowing anyone. So Purdue Pharmacy is unique because we have a well, only one of five nuclear pharmacy programs. We also have the Purdue University Pharmacy, which is located in the first floor of the pharmacy building, and it is open to students, faculty, and community members, and it is available almost every day of the week. And one other thing that makes this unique is that Purdue has one of the lowest tuition costs in all of the top 10 pharmacy schools. The kind of person that you would think would be drawn to pharmacy is a type A, really organized person, somebody who uh, loves all the details, but I've met so many people who aren't like that. That's not the primary factor. The primary factor is that you care about people, that you care about excellence, and that you care about medicine and making people feel better. Pharmacy does have a learning community. It is located in Ellen Hall, and joining it is really based on personal preference. You will be placed with a bunch of other students in pharmacy, so you'll get to have uh, like study groups, and you'll have someone to turn to in all directions. Our pharmacy peer mentoring program, basically incoming students are paired with a variety of upperclassmen, uh, pretty much the P2s or the second professional students, two P4s as well. Um, but basically they are paired up over the summer, we start reaching out to students over the summer so that when those students end up on campus, they already have a good idea of at least who that person is that they can lean on. Um, and we pretty much carry them through the semester, we set up our few meetings, um, we check in with the people above us, let them know how the students are doing, and we pretty much help them fill in the gaps and kind of teach them to be self-sufficient um, while still giving them or helping them build their network with people that they didn't know prior to. So you can do research, there are so many opportunities, just like asking professors or asking upperclassmen for resources. I've like gotten a lot of um, introduction to research through Kappa Epsilon and just through word of mouth, whether that be from professors or TAs, and I definitely think if that's something you want to do, then absolutely, but it's like in no way requ required to do it. Just, But it's a nice opportunity to see what interests you and like what you'd want to do after graduation. So um, just as you go about campus and any of the main buildings to do homework or study, um, you'll see lots of flyers or posters for call-outs and things you can go to uh, to be a part of. And um, I always have thought of if there's something you're interested in, there's probably a club for it or an extracurricular activity related to it. So um, just a little little effort in, in looking for what, what that might be and taking some time to think about uh, what would that be is can go a long way and um, just evaluating what's important to um, put your time towards um, while you're in college. You can't do school the whole time, so I would definitely encourage um, being a part of something outside of the classroom that um, brings you in, into um, community with people um, and have some fun along the way. So the BSPS program is studying um, pharmaceuticals. You're wanting to uh, design drugs. You want to make drugs. You want to study uh, things in a lab and you want to do research more. PharmD, you're more focused on patient interaction, whether it be in the hospital or the community setting. Yeah, so the pri priority admissions program is offered to students who basically pre complete their prerequisites at Purdue University in West Lafayette. I think the cumulative GPA is like 3.25 or at minimum 3.25 and students who complete their prerequisites at that minimum cumulative cumulative GPA are basically offer priority admission into the program. Um, basically a fast track way of getting in. It's a very holistic view. They look at your leadership, your volunteering, um, what shadowing you've done prior to, do you have any prior work experience, and it doesn't have to be pharmacy related, but can you handle you know, a job and your academics or multiple tasks at the same time, and then also lastly, of course, your grades. Um, and they take everything into account, I would say, it equals split between the five. Um, so if you are weak in one area, you know, trying to use your other areas to compensate or you basically present yourself as a well-rounded candidate. So 
if you were to not get admitted when you apply to pharmacy school, you will meet with your advisor and talk over your weaknesses and um, get geared up for a readmissions. So you would just finish out the rest of that school year and apply the following fall. So Purdue also has an early, early deadline for the application, so you can always apply to other schools if they interest you. And um, from there, you could also just stay on the BSPS track and finish out your Bachelor's of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences. I hope you enjoyed learning about the College of Pharmacy. Remember, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at the contact information listed below. Every giant leap begins with one small step.